Hey, what's going on? This is JP from Hear and Play Music in the Gospel Music Training Center. And what I'm gonna do is in 10 minutes or less, I'm gonna be sharing with you three chords that'll have you playing multiple songs by the end of this lesson. You ready? Here we go. The biggest thing, the most important thing when it comes down to learning the piano is first, having a solid foundation. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go over the scale of C major. That's the key that we're gonna be in and that's how we're gonna identify these chords and progressions, okay? So, we're gonna be in the key of C. Let's look at the scale in the nervous system. So C is the one. D is the two. E is the three. F is the four. G is the five. A is the six. B is the seven, and we're back at the one. So that's what we call our scale and number system. And basically the number system is used to identify a lot of things. Um, if you've heard of chord progressions, it's used to identify chord progressions, but it's also used to make chords too as well. But I'm gonna to try to keep this as simple as possible. And um, what you should know is that when it comes down to playing in any particular key, once you know the scale and the number system, the major chords that fall in the key most of the time are gonna fall on the one, the four, and the five. So in, the, in this case, in the key of C major, the one is C. The four, that's the F. And the five, that is the G. So the one, four, and the five, most of the time that's where your major chords are gonna fall. Now, how do you find the major chords? Well, that is real easy too as well. So the first thing that you, once you know, understand the scale, I would write it down. You know, in this case, it's just easy because in the key of C major, it's all white keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? All white keys going straight across. So when it comes down to finding the C major chord, that's the one, the one chord. So a C major chord is C, E, and G, right? That's based off of, if we look at the scale, the one, the three and the five of C major, right? So even if you don't know the number system, what you should be able to see is that the C major scale is every other note of the C major scale starting from C. So it doesn't matter what key you're in, once you know the scale is the first chord is gonna be built off of every other note. So once you find the first note, skip one note of the scale and go to the next. Once you find the second note of the chord, skip one note of the scale and go to the next. So the C major chord is C, E, and G. So that's the one chord. And a lot of times when we talk about the, the one or the four or the five as it pertains to the one chord, we're, we're looking at the left hand as the anchor point, basically. So if you're playing the one chord, which is C major, that means you're playing C in the left hand, okay? So we got C, E, and G. That's the C major chord. Now. The four chord, we said the one, four, and the five, those are gonna be your major chords, but we also look at those as primary chords. So I don't wanna to get too far off into music theory because this lesson is gonna be very simple, but the one, four, and the five, those are what we call the primary chords, right? So let's look at how to find the four chord. So the four chord is gonna be an F major chord, okay? So we know that the four is gonna be major. So how do you find the F major chord? the same way you found the C major chord. Once you find, know the first note is F, look at this, the major scale that we already went over and just do every other note of the scale. So F is the first note. Skip a note, skip the G. That means A is the next note of the chord. And then skip the next note of the scale, which is B. And that means F, A, and C. That is our F major chord. So, so far we already know how to find the C major chord very fast, and then we also know how to find the F major chord very fast. And then the next thing is the five chord. What's the fifth tone of, of the C major scale? You should know this by now. Uh, it's G, right? So how do we find the G major chord? The same exact way that we found the other chords. You can either use the number system and, and, and go that route, but this is a lot easier way for people who just don't want to think too hard and just want to do every other. Just remember that every other method, right? That every other note. 
So find the first note of the chord, which obviously is going to be G, because we're playing a G major type of chord, right? So find the first note. Now we got G. So then the next note of the, of the chord is going to be we have to skip one note of the C major scale. So we skip the A, and then we play the next note. So now we have G and B. And then to find the last note of the G major chord, skip a note. It's every other, remember? Skip the C, and now we have D. So we instantly know the G major chord. So, so far we found the C major chord, we found the F major chord, and we've also found the G major chord. All right, so now that you know the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord for C major, and this works for any key. Once again, just for a refresher, the one chord is a C major chord. Showed you how to find that. The four chord is a F major chord. I showed you how to find the F major. And the five chord is the G major chord. Those are the primary chords. You can instantly play songs now. All you need is the one, four, and the five chord. Of course, there's a lot more chords, but a prime example of a song that uses the one, four, and the five chord is a song like, Lord, I Lift Your Name on High. I'm gonna play all simple, basic chords. I'm not gonna go past what I showed you. So the chord progression for Lord, I Lift Your Name on High starts on the one. Lord, I lift your name on high. So it goes from the one, which is a C major chord, to an F. That's the four. That's an F major chord. To the five, that is a G major chord. So. That is a song that uses those chords over and over. From the one, to the four, to the five. And it just repeats it over and over again. Lord, I lift your name on high. I can't sing, but you just used to get the point. Lord, I love to sing your name. So that's a song that you can play instantly with just three chords, right? But there's other parts to the song, but this is just the power of major chords, and this works in any key. Learn the one, four, and the five chords and start to experiment. Another song that you could play that has these chords is the chorus to the song called You Deserve It. Now keep in mind, I'm not gonna be in the original key of the song, and I'm not gonna play the exact chord um, inversions and voicings, but I just want you to see how it is the same chord progression. So basically for the song You Deserve It, so this is the chorus for You Deserve It, not the same exact voicings, nor the same exact key. But listen to it. You deserve it. I can't sing. You deserve it. So the chorus that I'm playing, I'm playing the same three chords that I showed you, the one, four, and the five. But the order has just changed. So now I'm going from the four chord to the one chord, OK? Then I'm going back to the four chord to the five chord. Okay, and that's all it is. Major chords, the primary chords, being used in countless songs, okay? Hey, this is JP Jonathan Powell from Here and Play Music and the director of the Gospel Music Training Center. And if you haven't heard of us, what we do is we teach thousands of people all across the world how to play gospel music. And what we do is we give new songs, new tips, new tricks every week. And what we have is a special treat for you guys. If you go to the next page and give us your email address, we're going to give you a special PDF that has the top 10 gospel chords that you need to know to play in the church service, to play all your top gospel songs. This is information that you need to know. All right, so do me a favor, fill in your email address on the next page, and I'll see you there.